When you're showing off your work, it may be tempting to just include a screenshot of your work as the cover photo, but if you can include that work on a computer screen or a mobile phone mock-up, it looks a lot more professional and visually appealing. Let me show you what I mean. Here's my portfolio site and you can see instead of just having a screenshot of my project, the screenshot is embedded on, on a computer screen or a mobile device, as you can see here. This, the same is the case with Kath Ellis. You can see on her site, we have all these beautiful designs being displayed on these MacBooks or these iMacs or these, you know, here's an example of one with a screenshot and you can see the difference. You know, when you can see the work on a screen, it looks a bit better. And same thing with Tim Slade's site. We can see all of this, these e-learning projects on at the actual devices they would be used on. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do exactly that. So I'm going to use Adobe Photoshop to accomplish this. Um, if you don't have access to Adobe Photoshop, that's okay. You should be able to accomplish this with any kind of photo manipulation tool, but I'll be using Photoshop because that's the tool I know. So let's dive into this. I source my computer mockup or, or phone mockup from a site called freepick.com. Um, this runs me about 10 bucks a month to use all of the premium graphics and to use all of these without attribution. But again, you can use these for free as long as you attribute the, um, the artist. So, and, and again, you can find these mockups on any site like Adobe Stock, Freepik, I'm sure, Envato Elements, and any other photo repository that you use. But I'm just going to type in computer mockup. And on the right hand side, I want to filter this by the PSD files. So these will be only the Photoshop files. And these ones make it very easy to just swap out the design you see on the screen with your own design. So I'm going to select this one right here. I'm going to press download. And then once it's done downloading, it will open up a folder like this. We want to open up the .psd file within that folder. So this is the Photoshop file. So I have that opened right here in Photoshop. And, I, and as you can see, this is where we're going to need to actually replace this screen with our screenshot. So we need to get a screenshot of the project that you're highlighting. So I have one of my e-learning projects right here. This is just part of um, something I built with Chameleon Creator. Once the screenshot is lined up how you want it, I'm just going to press the print screen on my keyboard. And this opens up uh, TechSmith Snagit. This is the tool I use for screenshots. Um, it looks pretty good, but I don't want this little thin scroll bar on the right hand side. So I'm just going to resize that. And now I will go to share file and save this as just screenshot on my desktop. So there we go. We have the screenshot and now we need to actually bring it into this mockup. So if you notice the layers panel on the right, we have the background layer at the bottom and that's the actual computer itself but we need to get into this smart object object so that we can replace the, um, the actual screenshot or the screen. So we can just double click this little thumbnail and it will open up that layer. So here we are, we need to bring in our screenshot. So I'm going to go to my desktop and I will drag the screenshot onto this screen. The positioning is good. It's centered and it's full width, which is what I want. So I will press enter on my keyboard now I clearly need to get rid of this background. We don't want the default design. So again, on, on the, in this layers panel, I'm selecting this graphic background and I'm pressing delete on my keyboard to get rid of it. The last thing we need is um, we, need an, we need a background for this. So I'm going to select the rectangle tool on, my, on this toolbar. You can also press U on your keyboard. And I'm just going to drag a rectangle across the entire screen. You can see we have this color. We can change the fill up here. Um, so we have white, which is, which is what I want. I'll press enter on my keyboard. And now on the layers panel, we just need to drag this rectangle beneath the screenshot we added in. So there we go. It blends pretty nicely on the top. Like it looks good enough to me. So once you're done, we're going to close this layer. So there's a little X on, um, you know, at the top, you see these layers just like tabs in your web browser. We want to close the layer we were just working on. It will ask if you want to save your changes and we want to press yes. 
All right, it will take a couple of seconds to save. But as you will see, here we go. We have our screenshot on this computer screen, and this is exactly what we can put on our portfolio site or share with clients, share on social media. It looks a lot better than just sharing in the plain old screenshot. So what we need to do to export this is we will go to File, we will go to Export, and I like using Save for Web Legacy. All right, the settings are in JPEG, high, 75% quality, that all looks good, it's optimized, but you can see the width here is 5,000 pixels. That is super big, we likely do not need that. On my portfolio site, my, my width is always constrained to 800 pixels, so I will do 800 pixels here. And there we go, we can see the image size, it's 107, or 106, 107 kilobytes, which is pretty decent size for a photo. So it's looking good, we will press save, and we'll name it something, we'll call it e-learning mockup. And there we have it. If we go to my desktop, we can open this mockup up and it looks great. That's exactly what we were going for. So I hope that this was helpful. If it was, please go ahead and like the video and let me know in the comments. And if you are an e-learning developer or instructional designer and you wanna see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because more content is on the way.